How's it going guys and girls? This is London uh, with 12 ones behind it. I know that's a dumb YouTube name, but whatever. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. So uh, I'm going to try something different here. This is going to be a, a horror movie review update. Um, I've never done one of these before, but I've seen a lot of guys and girls do some really good ones and I really enjoy watching them. Big shout out to uh, Chocolate Torpedo. He's got deadly videos, lots of great reviews. He's got excellent taste in horror movies. Um, this will be my first one, but it definitely won't be my last one. A uh, little bit about me, I'm 31 years old. I've been into horror movies, uh, in particular 80s horror movies, for a very long time, since I was a little tiny kid. Um, <clears throat> there's just something about that decade, the 80s, that uh, will never be taught. It's just pure nostalgia. Uh, nothing will ever feel like that ever again. Kind of brings a tear to my eye when I think about it. But uh, anyways, let's get on with the review. Uh, another big shout out to my buddy Iron Man zero zero zero. Check out his uh, horror collection. He's got one of the best ones on YouTube. Anyways, I'm gonna start with this movie. It's called uh, Bloody Birthday. I remember seeing this when I was a, a kid and seeing the cover where it was a birthday cake with a hand coming out all bloody and razor blades and shit. It was a deadly cover. This is garbage. But uh, the movie's awesome. It's about three little kids who were born the same day as an eclipse. And they go around killing their friends and poisoning shit, and they're just fucking crazy. But uh, it's got a good old atmosphere, and it's a cool movie, so check that one out. Uh, here's one I just saw for the first time a couple months back. And i got to say, it's one of my favorite slasher movies. It's absolutely awesome. Hell Knights. Linda Blair, I'm sure all you guys know about it. But uh, it's a really good watch, really fun movie. Uh, brings back a lot of good memories of the olden days, even though I didn't watch it. It's just something about that era. Uh, another one I watched recently for the first time ever is Mad Men. Another great, wicked horror movie. Another slasher that is just very underrated, along with a lot of other ones. Here's a little uh, unknown one. It's called Malevolence. Uh, I never hear anybody talk about this movie, but uh, I thought it was excellent, excellent movie. Made really well. Has a lot of scenes that were ripped off from John Carpenter's 1978 Halloween, obviously, that's the kind of movie it is, but it's got a different story to it, but uh, once you watch the movie, you'll see that's the biggest influence on this particular movie, but the directors were great, they did a good job, and it's a fun movie to watch. One of my all-time favorites that was 15 years ahead of its time, Strange Land, written, directed by Dee Snyder, the acts in the movie, it's just very underrated again, way ahead of its time. Um, I, th I think Dee Snyder's a genius by making this movie. Hopefully another one will come out soon. That's what I've been hearing for the last few years, but uh, you never know. Uh, one of the more recent ones that I've watched that I really love is House of the Devil. I don't see many good reviews on this, and I do not understand why. The purists, the ones who love movies like John Carpenter's Halloween, how could you not like a movie like this? Uh, this brings back a, a, a 70's feel to me. The clothes, the settings, the wallpapers, the houses, uh, every single thing you see in here, the uh, editing is just all 70's. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's a great, great atmospheric movie. A lot of frightening scenes that you don't see very well. I'm not a big fan of the gore movies like Hostel and Trash like that. Uh, those movies are garbage, in my opinion. Just my opinion. Um, great movie, House of the Devil. 5,000 thumbs up. Street Trash. Not a slasher movie, but a really, really great 80s movie that just beautifully shot. Every scene is just so colorful and crisp and like candy for the eyes. Yeah, very well directed, great, great acting for like the low budget garbage. It's it's just a really fun movie. A movie you can watch a thousand times. Uh, all of you guys probably know about it anyways, but for those of you who don't, it's about uh, these bums who all they do is want to buy alcohol, obviously, on the streets of wherever, in New York or wherever it was. And so they go into this one place where this guy found a, a bunch of old bottles in a wall in an old uh, liquor mart so he uh, sells them for a buck a bottle and when the bums drink it they melt into like all this neon slimy shit and there's a lot more to the movie but it's just a beautiful fun movie so check it out. Here's one I just picked up recently it's called The Last of the Living. A uh, little zombie flick they're kind of co trying to copy a few fun ones. Uh, it was a pretty shitty movie as a matter of fact but I actually bought it for the bonus movie which is Play Dead. 
you know, I'm not a, I'm not a Limp Biscuit fan. I hate music like that. No offense to anyone out there who likes it. Uh, just not my thing. I don't like Fred Durst. I think he's an asshole. But you know, in this movie, he's really, really a good actor. Like I didn't like his movie uh, Population 436. I thought that sucked as well. But uh, he plays an exact kind of role like Billy Bob Thornton did in U-Turn, Oliver Stone's U-Turn. Great, great acting. He he made this movie. It was a really fun movie to watch. A cool little story. So yeah, check it out. Another one I just uh, found out about recently is uh, From Within, one of the newer After Dark horror movies. Uh, I loved the first season of After Dark, thought there was a lot of really good gems there. I didn't like the second season at all, didn't find one I liked actually, and, but From Within, from the third season, it's about uh, a spirit of suicide that goes into, into people and then once somebody watches somebody kill, kill themselves, the spirit jumps into that person and so on and so forth. And, it's a really original story that I've never seen before anyway. It was very well directed, well acted, a lot of young actors, uh, newer ones. Um, who's in here? Uh, Bruce Willis's daughter, one of her earlier ones. So, uh, I forget her name, but yeah. Cool movie. Carla. Uh, this is about Carla Homolka and um, Paul Bernardo, Canadian serial killers who took girls off the streets of uh, Ontario, I believe it was, Mississauga, and... Uh, raped them, murdered them, cut them into pieces. Uh, this is uh, Laura Prepon from that 70s show. Great, great, great movie about th this uh, particular incident. Uh, Misha Collins, uh, I like the show Supernatural. He did a really good job in this as a psycho, crazy motherfucker. But uh, definitely a uh, not very well-known movie. It wasn't released in Canada. So uh, this is a bootleg, but it's a great movie. Really well acted, really good story. They did the story. Um, they gave it justice. There's a lot more to it, but obviously for a short movie they did what they could. Great watch. Check it out. And here's my last one. Uh, <laughs> this was the first Yui Bowl movie I watched. Wow. Uh, I really don't know where to start on this. Uh, I didn't hate it. I didn't like it. Uh, extremely graphic. Extremely, like, a guy smashing some girl's head in with a hammer every hit about a thousand times until her head's a, a mashed pulp of fucking junk and goo and it, it was obviously CGI and a lot of other things but wow this is a really disturbing movie I actually seen my second Yui Bowl movie a couple days ago called Stoic <laughs> wow that Yui Bowl guy has something wrong with his head Stoic is definitely the most disturbing movie I've ever seen by far in my life it's about prison rape Check it out, it's fucked up. Not for the squeamish. Anyways, thanks for the review, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, this won't be my last, definitely. Shoutouts to the guys. Keep posting those reviews for me as well. Thanks, guys.